Morning. Good morning. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the pew. pew. Take two. Take two. Yes. <laughs> this is One a... of our helpful elves out on the mm -hmm. internet sent us these great suggestions for improving sound and... And so we did the whole episode <laughs> and then when we tried to uh, play it back, um, there was no sound. <laughs> so thank so, you, internet. Thank you. <laughs> helpful. Internet help for helper. <laughs> um, Michael's kind of sad today. I'm kind of sad today. So um, that's why I'm not my usual... Chirpy self. Chirpy self. I'm not chirpy. Send him, send him positive vibes I'm the chirpless internet. today. Don't send us advice about sound. Yes, send do not us send us advice vibes. about sound. Send <laughs> us positive vibes. Um, Why are you so, sad? I'm just like regular day. Money issues. Stuff, you know, like just regular people, like, you know, sad about being a regular person. <laughs> I mean, it's like sort of, you know, like money, you know. I mean, you, right. I'm, you know, I work for Gay Times, obviously, in the New York Post. Um, and um, the and they pay, I mean they pay decent, but I mean it's expensive to live it's in New expensive. York, and it's like every time any money comes in, it goes out immediately, and it doesn't. It feels like I'm never getting ahead, kind of. You know. Well, I, you get used to that in time. Then. No, I get used to, no, you're gonna get used to that because I mean I just have to pay. I don't want. Some, I don't want to get used to it. I, want, I mean, it's a fact yeah. of life. Everybody has to deal with that, and uh, I just have to pay a thousand dollar premium on my insurance for just six months on the car, and then I had a flat tire last week, so I had to pay two hundred fifty dollars on top of that. Yeah, it's it never ends, and it comes at the most inconvenient time. Well, there's never a convenient time, I think. No, for, not to have a thousand dollar bill. Right. Yeah. Well, no, I'd love to have a thousand dollar bill. Do they still make thousand dollar bills? I don't think so. Okay. Um. Well. Um. In it's in the lie in the in the spirit of what we were just talking about. Um. We have something new today. Um. Our friend Lindsay. Um. Made for us this beautiful six eight nine second um course and then jason made the intros and outros so we have a brand new <laughs> and infotainment uh section for you coming yeah, up and right gonna, now and we're going to play it until we sell everything until, yes we're going to force you to watch our new commercial until we sell out of everything at alec bar which will be never because we're continually adding things to alec bar all right <laughs> so Here watch this So, oh, go out and buy something. Yes, welcome back to uh, the show. Okay, so now we're going to answer some questions. I want to thank, first, I want to thank Simon in the UK because he's been offering some really good, well... Non-sound mm -hmm. advice. Non-sound <laughs> non -sound advice. Some sound advice. <laughs> that was not about sound. Right, non-audio. Um, non-audio sound device. Uh, about, uh, he thinks that we should do, we should try to do a, a, a live edition of the pew which I have always liked the idea of doing it and I thought it would be easier but I guess Arnie says it's not easier well I think that it just requires more planning and eventually we will do it but um, we would have we're to, just really busy and, and we would have to do it I think during like prime time or something right like right because you're not going to want to watch it Sunday morning uh, mm -hmm. when, or whenever it is that we do this in the morning yeah you'll be at work or you'll so, be sleeping um, but I do I do like the idea of doing something live like the tweetathon where like people can ask questions and like or would they be able to interact I guess what <gasps> it would be like one of those those sex camp things with the guys on the right, thing sex and like, camp yeah. and people no where like with people are clothes on. where people are like typing in and you see the guys like jerking off and like typing yeah on those sites that I've heard about. Okay. Coming soon on the view. Coming soon on the view. Sex scams. Mm -hmm. Sex scams. Okay. Um, <laughs> Not scams. No. Sex scams. Sex scams. <laughs> um, Taker's Little Lover 4, who is an interesting person who has been uh, asking a lot of questions. How interesting. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but he's an interesting person. And he's been asking a lot of questions. And About what? Well... So he wants to know if it was awkward seeing Kyoki after all this time and if there will be any rekindling of any kindling. And um, no, and the answer to that is no, it was not uh, awkward seeing Kyoki for the first time because A, this wasn't the first time. So right, he came to visit us back in either late May or June when Michael got out of prison. Right, and also because he's like one of those friends like Ernie or Jenny, and I'm sure you've got friends like that, yeah. who you just like, you know, what you can take off and come back and uh, it's just like the you know the, just it's always the same it's like it's never there's never really any awkwardness like that so yeah when he stayed with us previously it was uh it was just like we were all living together just, just like old times all the without the drugs same old things going on no, okay not, all, that, the not all the same old things yes exactly <laughs> just um same old 
dramas. <laughs> um, but we love them. We love to have Gary here. We loved him. And in fact, he'll be on the pew soon. Yeah, soon. Within days. We can't say, you know, with Kyoki, you can't say he'll be here today right. or tomorrow because there's no may, clock. There's no clock with in that Kyoki's. can follow his schedule. No, but with any luck, he will be here by soon. This week, he will be on the pew this week. Yeah. Um, and so, um, okay. So also, um, uh, Takers of Lover Four wanted to know uh, if um, uh, when was the first time meeting Amanda? Do you remember the first time you met Amanda? I, re- I just remember that she was with the designer Kenny Valenti. Well, she was also with Ken- Kenny when I Kenny Valenti when I met her, uh, which was at Limelight, and she was a girl then. She would she had already had her uh, her sex change, and. Um, she, it, w- it was, I think, the opening night of Disco 2000. She was on the dance floor with Kenny, and uh, I was with Claire O'Connor, the director of the club, and I said, um, who just died of cancer, so, you know, this Rest really in peace, Claire. Rest in peace, Claire. And I said to Claire, you know, who is this amazing woman? Uh, we have to, you know, we have to pay her to come to our club every single day from now on, which we, we did from then on. Um, and she said, oh, that's Amanda Lepore. Uh, we didn't know. I didn't know that she was a sex change. I thought she was a woman at, at that point um, because she hadn't had, like, a lot of the surgery yet. She had, she was just looking very real. She was more natural looking. She was more natural looking. And so we just if started paying her. You the word natural and Amanda in the same <laughs> sentence. Yeah. And it's funny because from then on, any time I met somebody like Amanda, who was really cool... Claire said that I ru- was ruining the club because anytime anybody cool would come to the club, I would grab them up immediately and say, all right, from now on, we're going to pay you to come here every single night. <laughs> so basically, it was like nobody n- you know, nobody would, would pay would to show g- up unless they got paid. And unless they got paid, right. Okay, and... Um, That's it. We're and, out of time. And, and we're not going to show up unless we get paid. So um, you got to buy some us. things. So pay us. So buy some things at Alagmar. Please, please, please. Bye. Bye. Bye.